guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make this little duct tape, uh, what's it called, snap pouch. So it's just a little pouch like this, you can use it as a coin purse, all you have to do is squeeze it and it opens up. Obviously you can just pull it open. Um, but yeah, you can make like longer ones to make it into like um, pencil cases and things. They hold things quite well, so you can put things in that turn it upside down and they won't fall out. So they're quite secure, so you can f like keep on changing things in there. And it's a really simple project to make. So first of all, you're going to need four strips of duct tape. Uh, these ones are 10 centimeters by 20 centimeters, I think they were. So you just slightly overlap two of them, and we're just going to make a little duct tape um, sheet. And this is how big my little pouch is going to be. So obviously, if you want a bigger pouch. Uh, use more duct tape <laughs> to whatever size you like. So like I say, just attach two together, turn it over, and we're going to place the other two bits and line it up to cover the back of the stickiness to create the duct tape sheet. So when you're done, once you've done this one, go ahead and do another one exactly the same size. So obviously that's going to be the front and back of your pouch. So just make sure you've lined that up all nicely. So once you've done that, you're going to need some of this uh, measuring tape. It's like the really thin metal type one. And what you're going to need is you're going to snip off two bits that are the same width as your um, duct tape sheets. Uh, it may look a bit tri tricky, but um, you can just cut through this with normal scissors. You don't need any heavy duty scissors. But do be careful because it is quite sharp after you've actually cut it. And also be careful because when you're using this, if you actually take the measuring tape out of its case, it can unravel really quickly and it might poke you in the eye or something. <laughs> so be careful. So once you've got what you need, just tape down the end of the um, measuring tape so it doesn't fling open everywhere. Okay, so once you've got that, you these like corners are really sharp, so what you're going to do is just round it off, use your scissors again and just cut off the corners, just make a nice, safe, rounded edge. Because <laughs> you can actually cut yourself open with these. So once you've cut these little bits off, just put them in the bin straight away. You don't want them lying about and you don't want to step on them because that hurts. <laughs> okay, so next we need to attach these to the two sides of the pouch. So you need a bit of duct tape, again the same width as your duct tape sheet. And we're going to take this and we're going to get one of the um, thingies that we just cut. I'm going to put it face down so the curved bit's facing off, up. I'm going to put it straight right in the middle of that piece of duct tape. And we're going to line up the edge of the duct tape sheet with measuring tape, the edge of the measuring tape, and just fold over that bit of duct tape. So make sure it's all nice and lined up. Turn, flip it over and just press down the duct tape on the other sheet, on the other side. Just trim off any little excess you have, if you've got any. Mine never lines up properly. <laughs> and we're going to do the exact same thing for the other side. And next we are going to uh, basically fix the sides together. Now if you don't want stickiness inside the duct tape um, wallet thingy that I'm making, then you need to do this step. If you don't mind there being little bits of stickiness in, on the inside then you can skip it. So basically what we have to do is on the inside part, that's where the curves in, you're going to place a half of um, width of duct tape along one side so it's like this and we're going to fold it back on itself like that so it's folded right up to the edge of the duct tape sheet and we're going to get the other bit of duct tape that we had before the sheet and we're just going to place that on top so just line up the edge so that's nice and straight. So it looks like this. So you've got a bit of stickiness on the outside, which will be covered later. 
and you do that along the bottom and the other side as well. Okay, so once you've done that, it will look like this, which is basically the purse or pouch done. And all you're left to do is to trim the outside. So that's basically what you just done, but in reverse. So you just put the sheets half over one edge and fold it over. So you do that to all three sides that are open. And then you're left with the pouch. So all we have to do to use this is squeeze it and it will pop open, as I said before. So all you have to do though is just to make sure the curved bits are facing outwards on the purse, otherwise it won't work properly. So thank you, bye!